We are the frontline feminist movement ending FGM. This is our story. FGM is the cutting or removal of the female genitalia. It causes mental, physical and long-term medical harm. In 2022, the UN reported that over 4 million girls are at risk of being cut. No to FGM! We are the frontline feminists tackling violence inside our own communities. Although 40 years of research shows that local women's organizations work faster and with less funding, less than 2% of donors' funding goes directly to us. We really need to focus on funding grassroots activists and organizations because they are the people with first-hand experience. They are the people who are passionate. Je connais des dizaines, des centaines d'ailleurs de personnes, de féministes et d'activistes. Si nous avons le financement direct, nous pouvons faire beaucoup de choses. As local people who have actually gone through the practice, who know what it means as victims, I think we have the sole power and authority to make the difference. Over the past 10 years, we've built a trusted network of over a thousand feminist grassroots organizations and activists working on the front line right across Africa. Our strategy is simple and unique. First, in a five-day bootcamp, we share our knowledge and experience with younger activists on how best to end FGM, whether it be shaming the police into action, discussing the medical horrors of the practice on local radio, or converting religious leaders into allies. We know what works. <laughs> We run our own low-cost campaigns in our own languages. Bonsoir, chers auditrices et auditeurs. Aujourd'hui, le thème, c'est les mutilations génitales féminines. We bring community and religious leaders onto radio and TV to condemn gender-based violence to millions of people. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. The Bible no mention about FGM. And funding the front line is working. In our latest impact survey in Kenya, for example, 84% of people surveyed said they were changing their minds about the worst type of FGM. Funding is direct and transparent. There is no middleman. Everything is done via WhatsApp, from submitting proposals to receiving the money and providing receipts. We are accountable not just to the donors, but to each other as well. We are already working across 10 countries and are now developing this live digital map which for the first time identifies a reliable network of vetted organizations and activists and shows details of what's working to end FGM in local communities. The map works also with a specially designed app which connects activists and helps us work together. We believe in taking direct action, so activists regularly meet online to share information. We have also developed this, the first emergency alert map, which is continually updated and details where cutting is about to happen. The police have direct access to it so they can intervene quickly, which is exactly what saved these girls in Kenya. We'll be rolling out new alert maps across Africa in 2023. All we need is funding. We have strategies. We know what to do. After generations of being ignored and underfunded, the front line is finally taking the lead. To shift the power, shift the decision making, and bring in the local organization if you really want to achieve the change that the world wants to see.